So the wire generator actually has a pretty big limitation right now. So regardless of the shape of the primitives that we used, when we ran the operator, it would always default to bounding boxes. It, there was just no other way of generating those points. And if I created enough cables, you could actually start seeing the shape of that bounding box right there. However, I've been working on a new algorithm. And let's actually switch the visibility here back to solid. So it doesn't really matter what I switch it to. It will always do this bounding box. But I now have this extra switch right here and I can change it from bounds to surface. And now you can see the difference. All of these cables or the, their control points are being generated on the surface of the primitive. So we can actually control the shape a little bit better. Set this to 100. That looks pretty cool. And of course we can also use parallel to create a cleaner result. We can uh, align these. I mean, these, these are things we could already do before. And I don't know what I'm doing, just messing around. Let's make these super small. And of course, because it's curved basher, we can just select these cables, press J, go to array types, for example, and swap them out for a bunch of chains, for instance. So it's pretty cool that we're able or we will be able to control the shape a little bit better once I release this update. When will that be? Who knows? And oh, we should be able to do this with Monkey, actually. We don't need alignment. Let's switch this back to bounding box. So with enough cables, we should be able to replicate Suzanne. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there she is.